Well, in December of 2004, Curtis Kelly, also known as Earthquake, developed a brain aneurysm, nearly died, and he says he went to heaven. What he saw there was vastly different from what he saw 30 years earlier when Earthquake overdosed on drugs, nearly died, and went to hell. While most four-year-olds were playing with toys, Curtis Kelly was casting voodoo spells and taking drugs. His Haitian father practiced voodoo, and his brothers were drug dealers. So he had these influences around him all the time. At five, he was excited to be chosen to study voodoo under the then Haitian president, Papa Doc Duvalier. But Curtis's Christian mother intervened, and her prayers would keep him alive. Power and money motivated him. By the time Curtis was 11, he was taking cocaine, dealing drugs, and was even deeper into voodoo. Then at 15, he had a major drug overdose. He died and went to hell. Wow, please welcome to the 700 Club, Curtis Earthquake Kelly. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Wow, let's just get right to it. You died at 15 years old, nearly died at 15 years old with a drug overdose. Yes. And you say you went to hell. Yes, I did. What happened? Well, my brothers were, were drug dealers at that time, and uh, they were uh, dealing drugs in the neighborhood, the community. And I wanted to get high, too, but they told me I was too young. So uh, uh, this voice told me how to do things and get high off of things around the neighborhood, around the house. So I started listening, and I was getting high. I started at four years old doing this. Doing drugs at four years old? Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. And by the time I was six, they allowed me to smoke marijuana. So I learned how to roll the, the joints by myself. And by the time I turned 10, they allowed me to start doing cocaine. So it took, wiped out most of my childhood. Yeah. And one particular time, uh, uh, the same voice said, uh, uh, since you've been dealing in drugs and stuff like that, that you never really got that super high. How are you going to tell somebody about the super high if you haven't experienced yourself? Mm. So I listened to it, and I mixed up uh, some cocaine, some marijuana, and some powerful pills. These pills were still strong, Chris, that you could uh, take one pill, cut it in half, and cut that half in half, and that half of that half would keep you high for eight days. Wow. And I took four of those, plus the weed, plus the cocaine. And next thing I know, uh, uh, it got real dark, super dark where I was, but I could see everybody else's in the light. And, and out of the floor came these evil, horrible-looking spirits. They just came out of the floor, and they grabbed me. And uh, my brother was sitting down at a, we were in a bar. I was 15. I shouldn't have been in there. That was set up from the devil itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, I drank some beer on top of all of that, and all of that stuff started messing around, started speedballing on me and what have you. And I went to my brothers, and, uh, and I said, take me home, take me home. If I can get to, to where mom is, she can pray this, this thing off of me. And uh, so they... So in the bar, you saw the demons try yeah, to come and get you. Yeah, came through the floor. Okay, okay. Came through the floor of the bar. And uh, I said, take me home, take me home. I get to mom, I know I can get these things off me, because she, 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 she know how to pray. Because your mom was a Christian, even oh, yeah. though your dad yeah. was a voodoo. Yeah, Into yeah. voodoo, okay. Right. And uh, uh, so they put me in the back of the car, and... Out of, underneath the bottom of the car, these things came and grabbed me, grabbed me by my mouth. They grabbed me by my mouth and they had me by my ears and, and my skin and they yanked me out of my body and I started going down and I could see the drive shaft of the car as I was going down to the, to the heart of the earth. And as I got down, it was horrible, stinky, smelly. You could hear screams and yell. And then more of these evil creatures grabbed me and they tormented, they were hitting me in the head with all kinds of, uh, uh, I don't know what these things were. What did they look like? Oh, they were ugly with, with long teeth and fingernails and scaly and hairy, and they were all different sizes. They were little ones, little itty bitty ones in my mouth. They were pulling my tongue. They were laughing, and, and they said- They were laughing at you. Laughing at me, they said, yeah, we tricked you. We fooled you. you you've been doing spells and all kinds of things on people, and all it was was a setup to get you into this place. And it was tormenting me, and it was just horrible. It, it, Could were, you feel? Could oh, yeah. you, did you have oh, emotions? Yeah. Could oh, you yeah. feel? Everything, what were you feeling? I felt miserable. I felt horrible. I felt like this is it. You know, this is this place my mother always taught us about, but this is a real place. You know, now, it, how did you know you weren't hallucinating from drugs with all those drugs? What, what made you differentiate to say, this is a real place, I know I'm not hallucinating? 
Oh, because I knew drugs. I knew how they worked. Yeah. And I knew this was no drug. This was no uh, dream. This was none of those things. Yeah. This was absolutely real. Yeah. Because I was, I was, I was conscious of what was going on when my brothers put me in that car, and I was sitting up, and yeah. I was just shaking and, and, and everything. And next thing I know, I saw them with my own eyes come out of the floor and grab me and take me into yeah. this place. The people who we've had on the program before who've experienced something similar to you said that there was an instant feel, uh, feeling of fear. Mm -hmm. That fear just gripped them. Did you yes. ex oh, yeah. experience oh, yeah. it as well? Yeah, yeah. You can't even describe it with the word fear. It's beyond horror. It's beyond torment. It's just constantly, it's, it's, they're just on you. They're on you, and they remind you of your past. They remind you of the things that you did. Everything you did bad on the earth is down there with you, and torment on top of everything else. It's just constant. They do not give up. They're, they they will not leave you alone. Did you see other people there? No, I was just too busy in my own torment. But yeah. I can, you can hear them, but they don't have no interaction with you, really. Yeah. They're, they're just there doing their own separate yeah. torment. How'd you get out? Well, as they were tormenting me, and this is this is a, this is an awesome part. As I was being tormented and like almost ripping me apart, uh, uh, they were yelling and screaming in my ear, and and I saw all of their their faces like look up, and as they were looking up, I'm thinking it's a worse torment generator coming on top of me, but I saw these hands of light come down into this horrible pit, hallelujah, and it grabbed me by my shoulders, and pulled me out of their hands. And they were scratching and pulling and trying to hold on. And they pulled me out. And, and I heard them say, he's mine. They, they belong, he belongs to us. He's, he's ours. And his hands of like just pulled me out of there. And I could see the drive shaft of the car still going. And it took me, I went right through the body of the car. And they put me back in my body. And they said, because, I heard a voice say, because of your mother's prayers. Mm. Ah, glory to God. Mm. said, because of your mother's prayers, and you were chosen to do a work for us, you were spared. And you gave your life to the Lord after that? Right after that. Bob. Come on. Yeah. Now, really, really, really quickly, a couple years ago, you had an aneurysm, almost died again. You saw heaven. What was that like? Oh, it was awesome. I saw this golden building. It, it, was, it, was, it had a, a river coming out of it. It was so awesome. Mm. I saw, uh, 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 oh, it was just the angels, and oh, it was a, a beautiful place. Just beautiful. Completely opposite. I tell you what, really quick, I want you to say to someone out there who says, I don't believe it. I don't get it. What would you say to them right now? I say, hell's, hell's real. It's a real place. Mm. Heaven is real. These things are real. You're going to die one day. Where are you going to go? You know, you want to go to the devil, spend eternity there, or you want to go to the Lord? This is a real place. And I know I've, been, I've seen them both, and I've choose heaven. And if they're smart, they'll do the same thing. Amen. Well, thank you so much. Thank, thank you so you much, for Earthquake, us. for being with us. I just appreciate you so much. We're going to be ministering to you as the show continues. But in the meantime, I'm going to throw it to Pat.